New Year. It is the first day of 2020 and we are out to do a first day hike. It is a spectacular day here in Southwest Missouri. So we decided to hike the red loop of the White River Trail System in Branson, Missouri near Table Rock Lake. It is right across the street from the main entrance of the state park and we're excited to check out this loop. So come along. So the White River Valley Trail System is made up of four different loops that are here in Table Rock State Park. We are at the trailhead for the red loop, which depending on what you look at, if you look at the trailhead sign and if you look at the actual state park map sign, they have a little bit different of distances. The state park map sign says 2.9 miles. This one says it's 2.5, but you kind of get the idea. And then there are little connector loops that will get you to each next colored loop. You are supposed to travel these in a clockwise fashion. They do request that you do that. Um, but the first two loops, the red and the blue, are uh, close to three mile loops. The next two, the uh, orange and the green loops, are a little bit shorter, but it is fun that they all connect together. And according to the official state park map, it says it's 11.75 miles, miles. This one says that it's a total of 10.25 but either way, it gives you lots of different trails to explore right in this area next to Table Rock Lake. So we're gonna head out for the Red Loop and see what it's like. Well, so far the terrain has been pretty smooth and predictable. It uh, fortunately is not muddy and the leaves on the trail have kept it nice and smooth. There are not too many rocks either, so, so far so good. About four tenths of a mile into the trail, you're gonna come to a little crossroads and it's gonna say red loop to the left and advanced to the right. We're sticking with the red loop today to see what it's like. Maybe some other time we'll check out that little advanced crossroads at this part of the trail. One of the great things about hiking in the winter is that there are no bugs and in Missouri bugs are a problem when you hike so we love doing winter hiking and it's kind of neat because there are no leaves and normally you love when it's lush and green but hiking in the winter with leaf off just means that you have great views of everything and it can be kind of spectacular and there are usually not very many crowds even on super popular trails so get yourselves out try a winter hike The terrain is starting to get a little rockier. There are some really beautiful uh, small rock bluffs right along the trail. In several spots along the trail, you're gonna find some wet weather creeks that you cross. Nothing is really bad that you have to worry about having proper footwear as far as water shoes or anything, but it is kind of nice to have some water crossings. This spot right here is especially nice because you can see where the water has kind of carved out the limestone and has what they call a, like a bathtub feature in the rock, which is really neat. We love finding those out on hiking trails. At about six tenths of a mile into the trail, you're gonna to come to another junction where it's gonna tell you to go to the left for the red loop and then to go straight for connector one. That Remember, that's gonna connect you onto one of those other uh, colored loop trails. I really appreciate in Missouri how well the State Parks Department marks the trails. So they've had great signage here. All of the trails have been marked very well with blazes on the trees in the color of the loop and They've even got a number one over here on this tree as well, in addition to the sign to let you know that you're on connector number one if you're trying to do the whole loop trail. So we're gonna continue heading left on the Red Loop Trail. We are 0.7 miles into the trail and we came across our second intersection where the Red Loop splits from an advanced option. So the advanced option is marked with black blazes and the standard trail is marked with red. So you have a couple of different choices as you're hiking this trail. So I think we just figured out the advanced marking on the trail. We just had a mountain biker pass us. We forgot that this is a multi-use trail, so you can do mountain biking on this trail. And our best guess is that black advanced marking is for those mountain bikers who want a little bit more of a challenge as they go down the trail. And so we're gonna kind of check it out. Eric's gonna go 
down the advanced trail. I'm gonna continue on the red trail and we're gonna hope that we meet up. Well, I hope I can handle it. I think you can, you're not on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, it didn't diverge for too long. No. Not even a tenth of a mile, I wouldn't think. So was and your terrain rougher? Would you guess? Did we only at the very right? first part. It is clearly less traveled than the main red blazed yeah. trail. Um, but just, it was just that first part that was a little rockier that would have been challenging on a bike. Certainly not challenging to hike. It's no big deal. <laughs> we are back to the smooth terrain. And most of this trail has been relatively flat. Of course, there are little ups and downs, but uh, very mild so far from an elevation standpoint. Right at the one mile mark on the trail, you go up just a little bit of a slight uphill grade that twists further back in the roads. So a mountain biker would have to do a little bit of harder pedaling, but for hiking, it's not a big deal at all sunshine and warmth and a woods walk on new year's day that is hard to beat on the trail at about 1.3 miles the trail is really flat and smooth and you go through a little cedar pine grove and this is just kind of relaxing and i <laughs> like this so pretty nice spot on the trail and if you've been a mountain biker on this you're probably appreciative that you got a nice flat, smooth spot to take a break and catch your breath. Here's another one. 1.4 miles. After the two mile mark, you pass sort of a sort of a trickling waterfall and then it starts a descent. The footing gets a little trickier so you really have to watch carefully so you don't twist your ankle. Right around two miles, you're gonna hit the next connector. So we are now at connector two. So again, remember that those connectors take you onto different colored loop trails. We're staying on the red loop. A nice surprise for me on this trail was the fact that after you pass that two mile mark, uh, past the connection number two, you follow this little creek along for quite a ways and hiking by creeks is one of my favorite things. So bonus for the red loop on this trail. There are a couple spots on the trail that you have to ford the little creek, so ignore what I said earlier about not needing wet weather shoes. Make sure that you have something that you feel comfortable crossing the little creeks in. This trail in general is labeled as moderate, and I would agree with that. There are plenty of spots along the trail that are super easy, flat, smooth, and then there are spots that are much rockier and have some incline to deal with. I think if you were on a bike, I would definitely call this moderate plus. For hiking, I would call it moderate to easy. We are just about back and it's been a good hike. It has, it's really nice. As you come up out of the bottom land area where the creek was, you end up in a little pine thicket. And yes, I said the word thicket. <laughs> <laughs> and that will lead you right back to the parking lot 
which that is another nice feature that we haven't talked about about this trail it has a really nice large parking lot plenty of parking and there's also a vault toilet at the trailhead which is always convenient especially if you are a girl when you're getting ready to go out on a hike so nice trail it is good we will be back and we will do this one again i think i would think so it's a great hike through the woods is how i would describe this one. absolutely not a ton of features no. but i think it was it's the right length yes. and you certainly get a lot of the uh, ozarks beauty on this trail so we'll give it a thumbs up well thanks for coming along on this hike and uh, get out and explore because today is an adventure day